you can you can actually try and ask them a few um, questions to do with their work. You can you can ask them to review some case study. You can give them a scenario as what we call scenario based questions. You can give them a task and ask them to do a task. For example, you can show them a prototype. This is what we did with one of the financial planning applications where we were interviewing the top financial directors. Even one of the persons happens to be in um, a Volvo uh, CFO, the chief financial officer um, of Volvo uh, Europe. And he turned out an interview. And then we, uh, we had asked him, in fact, we presented this, uh, we, we created a flash in those days. I'm talking about a good 12 years ago uh, or even 14 years ago. Um, we created a flash uh, application uh, of the actual product, which is actually financial planning product, uh, but we created it in Flash and uh, we made it sure that it looks and feels like a normal, uh, the, the final product. And then we had uh, created the menus and it looks and feels exactly like uh, how you do with the final product. And we, we showcase this and then we asked them to do some tasks. How would you go about creating a plan? Where do you think you will find the report here? Um, who, is the, uh, who is the stakeholder involved here? And how can you select a quarter, quarter two in this financial plan? Can you show us how, how you can select it? Can you show us uh, what are the different report templates that you can generate from this particular tool? So you're giving them the tasks and you're asking them to perform these tasks using your, your product. So it gives you much more insight. Sometimes they're zapped, they're, they'll keep spending, oh, I don't know, I'm like, shit, I can't even see. So you can actually see their frustrations, their, their pains and their, uh, uh, their anger and their, uh, um, you know, inability to look at something which is so easy, all of those are so visible when you do these kind of uh, user tests, for example. So you would, uh, that's why we would actually video record them. So it's not just their uh, movement of the cursor on the screen. So we can actually see if they're trying to, what are you searching for? I'm trying to, where is, hey, hold on. Where is the report here? I don't find a report here anywhere on the screen. Where is the report? Where is the report? Where is the report? Where is the report? Shit, I know I can't find a report here. There's no report. But I think what you would have done is in this one, perhaps there is something called here, there is a menu called report, a small button called report here somewhere, which they missed. So basically they are not able to find it. So all the frustrations, all the uh, typical end user um, you know, interaction with your product where they're not able to find something which is so obvious. Um, so they'll go through all those emotions and you can capture them. We'll video record and we'll do this movement of the mouse on there. So there, there's a tool called More. So we can use that tool to capture all of that. So it will, it will actually capture the uh, movement of the, of the cursor. And if they click on something like this, it actually also captures that. So you know that they're spending like two minutes to look for a button and they couldn't find it. And then they just click somewhere else. So you can see that and you can try and, if you, you can try and ask then and there if you can find it or if you've got time Otherwise, you can you can just note down that point, and then you can follow it up later with another uh, question, call, or a mail. What?